What's up, my brothers and sisters? This is Pastor T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that'll make you free, all right? Uh, this is a beautiful morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, all right? Check it out. I want I want to give y'all a word. Give y'all a word. Uh, this is for my Facebook family. I want to give you a word. Be careful what you show and tell, folks. Come here. Come here. Be careful what you show and tell, folks. <laughs> we better talk. Let me tell y'all something. And I need for you to understand me clearly. I want you to continue to ask for wisdom. Because there are some things that you may be going through. There's some things that you may got going on that you need to talk to somebody. I don't, I don't care who you are. You need to talk to somebody. At some point in time, you need somebody in your corner. And I understand that, yes, God is good and he hears and see all. But God also placed people in your life that you can confide in. That's why the scripture tells us that that, that, that if, if, there, if there's any among you that are sick, let them call for the elders of the church. Go to them and let them pray for you. Huh? Let me tell you something. God has got people in our lives so that we will be able to share things with. And so that they can either help us. They can even give us encouraging word. Or either they can correct you. Or either they can tell you where you may be going to the left or where you're going to the right. But check this out. But everybody that's around you or everybody that's in your life can't handle everything that you could tell or show. I'm going to let you, I, 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 once again, I'm going to let you swallow that for a minute. I'm going to let you swallow that for a minute. Because see, you have eagles in your life and you also have vultures. And see, both of them got wings. You hear what I'm saying? Both of them can fly. But see, an eagle got a different mentality than a vulture. See, a vulture look for dead stuff. A vulture look for dead stuff to feast off of. And then he gonna call his other buddy. When they do it, start eating off of it. He gonna call his other buddy and say, hey man, we got us some dead meat. Let's get on it. See, you'll be surprised of the folks that's in your life is looking for you to say something. Or look for you to show something that may not be in your faith. And so when you're going through, you have to be careful who you show and tell to. You know that old school. You know when we was in, I, I can remember when we was in grade school. And, and we used to, uh, on Fridays, we could bring our toys and um, to school. And, and, and that's the time we say we could, we could play show and tell. You hear what I'm saying? Everybody bring out their little toy and that you show and tell about the toy. But watch this right here. Everybody that you show and tell it. Don't, don't mean they mean some good. So I need for us to be wise about who we allow to show and tell to. Be careful who you show and tell with. Hear what I'm saying? Be careful who you show and tell with because everybody don't mean you no good. I'm here. I'm here what I'm saying. I've lived 43 years and I've experienced this. I've experienced this. Everybody, you, you you may have some in your life that'll say, hey, bro, what's going on with you? And you may begin to tell them about it and talk about it. But at the same time, in their mind, they say to themselves, hey, now I'm doing a little better than they are now. Yes. But then you have those who are in your life and in your circle that will, that will check you on things. And that will say, hey, bro, you may be going to the left on this one right here or, or hey, Hey, I tell you what, man, I hear what you're saying, but let me give you this advice. And they can help you. But you have to be wise with knowing who those people are. Because people that you show and tell the wrong stuff and information to, they can destroy you. And they can hurt you in a way to where you ain't never been hurt before. Listen what I'm saying. That's why we have to be careful, Facebook, what we show and tell on our social media platform. We have to be careful what we show and tell um, to, to our friend base. Because every, all your you got to be able to put all your friends. You may have a lot of friends, but you got to put them in certain categories because all of them can't handle everything. 
And see, when you make a mistake of thinking that all your friends can handle everything that you got to show and tell them, you make a big mistake. Because you got to understand and realize everybody ain't eagles. Some people are vultures. Some people feed off of dead stuff. So therefore, a lot of times we accum we accumulate problems in our life all because we are showing and telling the wrong folks information. Be careful what you show and tell folks. Some folk, you got to, some folk, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something now. Some folk, some folk, you got to never let them see where you may be weak at. You got, you, some folk, you got to never let them see where you may be struggling at. Some folk, you can't let them see that you, that you, that you struggling on, on, on financially. Some folk, you can't let them see it. Because why? Folk will right wave bread in your face and they know you're hungry. They're waving in your face and then jacking from you. Uh huh. And I ain't talking about folks that you don't know. I'm talking about folks in your circle, folks that you do know. So I want to put you on game. And I got a scripture for you. I want you to be careful who you show and tell with. Today, listen, folks. Listen, folks. Let God show you the people that you can show and tell with. Everybody that growed up with you ain't, ain't, ain't for you now. They may be your friend on a certain level, on a certain place. On a certain on, on, on a certain tip. But when it comes to delicate information and sensitive information, uh-uh. Let the Lord show you who you can confide in on a lot of this stuff. Because if you want to create more problems, tell show and tell the wrong somebody your stuff. And see what happens. You go you gonna accumulate more hair than you ever had. Because why? See, it's one thing for a person to talk out there. But it's another thing when somebody that you don't confide in then begin to talk. That's a whole nother different danger there. And you don't want that to go on in your life because you got to understand and realize that you trying to get somewhere. And so therefore you got to be very wise in how you approach things concerning folks. Be careful who you show and tell with. <laughs> Y'all heard the subject right. Be careful who you show and tell with. Can't show a tale with everybody. Why well, did? Let me give you a scripture to back it up as we get ready to code. Ephesians 5, chapter 15 and 16, verse says this. Says it plainly. Says, see then that we walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time for these days are evil. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let me let you swallow that. Let me let you check that for a minute. See then that we walk circumspectly meaning pay attention to your surroundings as you walk this walk of life pay attention to your people that's around you pay attention to your friend base pay attention and see why did why did just because you can't show and tell some one or two of your friends something don't mean that they're no friends you just know how to you just know how to handle them you know what they can't and what they can handle so therefore, it ain't saying that you acting funny. It's just that I know you, bro. I know how you roll. So therefore, I know you, my friend. But I'm, I'm, but to keep up being friend, I can't show and tell you everything because you got a mouth problem. You see what I'm saying? Or, or you may have, you may have a, uh, you may have a thing that sometimes jealousy slip in and out of that thing sometimes. And that's that's human. That's normal. But at the same time, you got to know. Your friends. You got to know, not necessarily your friend. You got to know when you're dealing with folks. You got to walk circumspectly. Not as a fool. See, a fool will say and tell everything. A fool will show anything. A fool will just, just blurt, blurt out and just tell his men to tell everything what's going on. Uh, that's a fool. Mm -hmm. But when you are praying for wisdom, see then that we walk circumspectly, not as fools. But it's wise. And then we also got to understand this. Redeeming the time. For these days. Are evil. We living in some evil days y'all. We living in some days that. That 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 man. Man we living in some days. Paul tells us over in 2 Timothy. We living in some days. Prayer of times will come. That that men will become traitors. And, and lovers of themselves. And we all oh, we living in some days y'all. That. Uh, I'm telling you, we live in some days that uh, our daughters gonna hate mothers and their 
sons gonna hate fathers. We, we're leaving it some time that men will become lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. So we're living in some perilous times and so therefore we got to understand and realize that these days are evil and anything can happen. Anything can, anything can infiltrate the kingdom at this point. So you got to be wise and you got to be, you got to be aware of what you show and tell folks. Be careful who you show and tell with. You hear what I'm saying? This is Pastor T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that'll make you free. Y'all, let's go have some church today. Amen. Amen. Peace. Thumbs up.